What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about some news we got from Sledgehammers uh, about some things we can expect to see in the near future. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. There's been a lot of questions when Sledgehammer kind of went out and said, you know, pretty much ask us anything. But two of the main things that people have been talking about recently, as of in the last couple hours, is the infamous Groot skin, as a lot of people are calling it, of course, the skin that looks like Groot that you're getting from the Battle Pass. Uh, a lot of people are talking about how it is very hard to see. And they said it will be removed very soon from the game and then more visibility added to it. So they said it will be disabled. You will not be able to use that skin uh, very soon. You know, once they take it out, it will be disabled. And then they're going to go in and fix that so you can see the Groot skin a lot better. Because on some maps, it is very hard to see. And I think there's probably some other skins in the game they probably could look at as well. Some of the real bright, colorful skins, of course, if you look at, uh, you know, anything like Skeletor, those stand out. But some of the other skins are very hard to see on certain maps. And another thing they confirmed uh, a little less than an hour ago that is that uh, shipment will be coming to Modern Warfare 3. They said they're not going to do like DLC maps from MW2 uh, back in the day. All the maps that are coming to the game are going to be mainly new maps uh, for the game, but Shipment will be one of those that is making a return to Modern Warfare 3. So don't expect DLC maps from the original MW2. Expect to see things, you know, like new maps that they're making. I uh, kind of talked about that in a video a few days ago. Also, they said they're going to be making a lot of other skins uh, and more maps and modes uh, more than maybe even 10v10 and 6, uh, 6v6, uh, 6v6 maps could be a thing soon. Gun Gang was going to be coming to the game very soon. And says there are no changes currently for the Covert. Sneakers players aren't completely silent with these equipped either. Other sounds can still give them away. So there's been people talking about that as well. Overall, there's been a lot of discussion of what you know needs to be done, what needs to be changed. Skill-based matchmaking is one of the big questions uh, that people were asking about. Unfortunately, we really didn't get an answer for that. But there's going to be things added in in the future seasons. And it looks like uh, Sledgehammer is trying to do a good job of, you know, adding things into the game, fixing things. And last but not least, one thing they did talk about that I was really excited to hear is they're looking into the possibility of adding a non uh, disband lobby into the game. So the actual option to, you know, play the same team that you just played. So we're looking to get uh, some type of, you know, ability to not have lobbies disband, you know, like we used to have with old Call of Duty games. And they will be doing a double XP event. It says double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP live from Wednesday, November the 22nd until November the 27th. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.